Hey guys, Damon here. So I'm going to talk to you about how to change out your broken seat heater in your Dodge Ram 2500. This is the 2016 model. I don't know what other models it works with, but probably just about any of them. So here's the old one. As you can see, it's just tiny and it didn't work. Every once in a while it would turn on and stay hot back here, but it wouldn't get hot down here. And I tried to go through and fix it, but it's actually nylon wire in here. So you can't solder it. So what you're going to do is you're going to pop this clip off and then so you'll use a tool to pop the front of this clip off here. And then there's a screw right in here that's Phillips head. You'll pop this off and then all of these clips come off here, come off over here. There's one on this side that you've got to get. And then back here You'll see these clips here that come off of it, up underneath there. And then there's this one right here. You'll pull all these off. And as you can see, I've got some wires here, but we'll get to that in a minute. So once you get here, what you're going to do is you're going to slowly peel this back. Okay, it's glued down there. And you're just going to peel it up, peel it up, peel it up, until you get to the very back here. Okay. You're going to have some wires here. You're going to peel this off real slowly, real gently. Okay, until you get to these two wires here. You're going to have a white one, and over here you're going to have a black one. So you're going to cut those wires off, but you're going to leave the black and red wires because that's the sensor. Now that's what you have to leave. You see this sensor right here? You want to make sure that you do not cut those wires. Okay. Then I'm going to give you the link for this Amazon heat seating kit. It comes with a kit that you're supposed to do for an entire truck, but I'm just going to use one pad because it's only the seat part that's messed up in my truck. So I've got three extra pads here. So what you'll do is once you get that cut off, as you can see here, I use the entire pad. So if you've got the air conditioned seats here, what you'll do is you'll take a flashlight underneath here and as you can see, you can see that netting back there. Okay, So what I did is I just took a soldering iron and went through and poked holes, made sure I did not cut the wires. I accidentally cut the wire here, but luckily it still had connections from here to here. But you just make sure that you cut all of the places where the holes and the vented seats are. Once you get that done, make sure that you've got this pushed down here because that's where you're going to have the bull ring clips to attach that down. And I'm just going to attach it on the side just so I don't cut the wires or the bull ring clips. And then what you'll do is the seat heaters only come with two wires. So it comes with a red and a black. Okay, so what you'll do is you're going to hook the red or the black up to the black and the red up to the yellow. And then see here, down here is the clip for the seat here. Okay, so you see here, the black and red wires are the sensors. The black wire is the ground, the yellow is the positive, I think, but it doesn't matter because it works this way anyway. So, as soon as you get all of that done, you'll plug it back in, and I plugged it in multiple times and made sure that it worked during the whole thing, just to make sure I wasn't messing up the seat heater netting. So once you do that, you'll turn your seat heater on. Sorry about the sun. Okay. So it stays on now. It wasn't staying on before. And you give it just a couple of seconds. And it gets nice and toasty. So I don't have my, my infrared thermometer with me. I'll have to do that at a different time. But this is how you do it. So the whole kit costs about 40 bucks, But you only need one of them. So for $40 you can change out your heated seat, mod or your heated seat netting down here. And it's a lot cheaper than the $250 whole set. So 
If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. But until next time, have a good day.